the billing, invoicing, and accounting tutorial. If you have not already, make sure to watch the Getting Started and Simply Billing tutorials first to go through more of the basics of the program. During this tutorial, we'll be going through more advanced billing and accounting. At this time, you should have your settings, clients, and projects already set up in the system. During our Simply Billing tutorial, we went through and added hourly, contingency, and flat fee projects. So now we can input the last entries for these three projects that are set up. By default, all of your entries for your hourly project will default to billable and can be invoiced at any point. For your contingency and flat fee projects, you will need to add your closing fees in order to bill them. While in a contingency project, open up a new time entry and change the entry type from hourly to case closing settlement. This will bring up the settlement amount at the bottom for you to enter in. Once saved, it will automatically calculate the percentage of the settlement amount for that to show on the invoice. Lastly, we have our flat fee project. When billing flat fee, you have either one time or reoccurring options. Reoccurring means that every entry you make in the system will bill the flat amount that you set up in the project originally. This is set up as a one time, which means that you just bill the flat fee whenever needed, whether it's once a month or once every phase, so it's up to you. On the project, open up the Add Closing Fee button. Fill in your entry and you'll notice that the flat rate is set up from the flat amount you set up in the project originally. You can finish filling in the information and click Save once you're finished. Now that you've created the time and expenses you need against all of the projects, you can create invoices for them. Go to Invoicing in your blue menu bar to get to your Invoice Management. From there, you can view the invoices created in the past, when they were created, you can see when they were created, and if they're in a pre-bill or finalized state. You can also see the totals of the invoices and email them to your clients from here as well. To the right, you have Find Invoice. This allows you to find invoices for a particular invoice number or client. This comes in handy if a client calls and says that they would like all invoices printed and sent to them. You can choose the client and print all of their invoices at once instead of searching for each one. Create Draft allows you to pull all unbilled activity for a particular client without creating an invoice for them. You can edit the entries right in here just by clicking on an entry to open it up. Any changes you make to this entry when saved, it will automatically update in the system. You can create the invoice just by clicking the Create Invoice button up at the top right. But the best part about this feature is you can exit out of the screen and an invoice was not created. So you can go back to billing time on the client without affecting the existing data. Create Statements allows you to create statements for clients with outstanding balances but no unbilled activity. You can choose to exclude recently invoiced clients within the last 15 to 30 days and then check the boxes next to specific clients to generate a statement. This will show the client their balances as of today. Lastly, when you are ready to create your invoices in the system, you want to go through Create Invoice. From Create Invoice, there are only three steps you need to follow. First, choose your date range. You can choose a start date if needed, but is not required and it will not show on the invoice. This is mainly if you have a specific start date in mind. If it's not checked, the system will automatically pull unbilled activity from the last invoice for the clients. Your billing through date is the date in which you want the entries to stop at, and your invoice date is just the date of the invoice. Next, choose your clients and projects as needed. Check the box next to the clients you wish to invoice. If you choose just one client, it will create a single invoice for them. If you choose multiple clients, it will create a batch. After you check the box next to the clients you need, you're going to see boxes in the center and boxes to the right. The center boxes are for your labor and expenses. This comes in handy if you want to bill for just expenses, so you can uncheck your labor box, or vice versa. The boxes to the far right allow you to bill each of your projects on separate invoices. If unchecked, each project will group and subtotal per project, then grand total at the bottom. If checked, each project will be on separate invoices depending on your accounting isolation. To learn more, make sure to watch the accounting isolation tutorial. 
Once you're finished choosing the clients and projects you need, scroll up and click Save. By choosing just one project, it will bring you to the invoice details page of the single invoice. From here, you can change the billing through and invoice dates as needed. You can also add a discount set to either a flat rate or percentage. You can write up or down your invoice totals if you need to change the total of what was invoiced. If you scroll down, you'll be able to view and edit the entries right on the invoice itself. If you hover over an entry, you can click into it. Make any changes that you need, and once saved, the pre-bill will adjust automatically. At the top, you will also see an Invoice Summary tab. This allows you to completely summarize the invoice if the client does not need to see the full details of the entries. To learn more, make sure to watch the Invoice Summary tutorial. Lastly, your Payments tab. Here you can see the invoice total for the remaining balance left to be applied. If you already have a payment sitting in your accounting, you can click the Apply Payment button to apply an existing payment to this invoice. If you want to make a new payment against this invoice, you can click Receive Payment to fill in the information and save it. At the top, you can click the Print button to view it and the Create PDF button to save it. Here, you can also click to export the invoice if you need to submit your invoices via leads if you're on a legal plan. If you finalize the invoice, it will lock the entries from being edited. If you've finalized an invoice and need to make more changes to it, you will see an unfinalized button up at the top, which will put the invoice back to a pre-bill state and allow you to make further changes. You can also delete the invoice if you're not ready to send it out, which will put the entries back to unbilled activity. So if you go back to Create Invoice, this client will be in your list again. If you were to choose multiple clients when creating your invoices, it will create a batch. Once you select multiple clients you want, you can click Save. Once saved, it will bring you to that Batch Details page, which will show you the list of all of your single invoices. You can mass edit the batch by clicking the Edit button up at the top right. It will show you who's currently in your batch, highlighted in green, and you can remove anyone you want, as well as add any new clients to the batch. Once you're finished, you can click Save. You will also be able to delete the whole batch, which puts all of the entries back to unbilled activity. By clicking on the first invoice up at the top, you will get the same screen like you saw as your single invoice, where you can make any adjustments and changes you need, and here, finalizing the invoice in the batch will actually bring up the next invoice in line. If you want to get back to the main batch page, click the batch ID to the right. From here, you can check the boxes to the far left of all of your clients. Then to the right, you'll see a finalize and unfinalize button, which will allow you to update multiple invoices at once. You can click the print button to print all of the invoices and the PDF button to save them all. You can also email them to your clients by clicking the envelope icon to the right of a finalized invoice. This feature is the client portal and will allow the client to view their invoice online. They can print it, save to PDF, and pay for it online. To learn more, make sure to watch the client portal tutorial. Once your invoices are sent to the client at that point, you would be receiving payments. To track your payments, click accounting in your menu bar. From here, it will show you a brief overview of all of your clients. You can receive a payment from here to enter in the details like the client's name, the amount, the check number if needed, and then you can also apply this payment to a specific invoice. You can choose the invoice down at the bottom and then go ahead and fill in the amount. Click the Apply button and then click Save. This will mark this invoice as paid. From the accounting, you can also search for a client up in the search bar and click the client from this page. It will send you straight to the client's full accounting to show you their invoices payments just for the client. You also have a balance adjustment option, which can be set to a debit or credit. You can add the debit in the system for amounts owed, as well as credits for writing off certain funds. The credit will show and deduct from your invoice totals and can be pulled when you're running the account activity report. From your client's accounting, you can also see the billed balance, unbilled activity, and total balance as of today. From here, you can also click on Payments to view and edit them. 
If you click on an invoice, it will bring you to the invoice details page for that invoice. You can always click the back button to get back to that accounting page. You also have the ability to print and create a PDF of this invoice right from here. Thank you for watching the billing, invoicing, and accounting tutorial, and make sure to watch the Quick Tips playlist that goes over each area of the program for further assistance.